Hi friends, how you doing? I don't have much to say, but uh, let's do a little yoga. You can start seated just for a few breaths in through the nose and out. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose. Sip of air up at the top. And out, all the way out. Squeeze the breath out. All the way empty. Hold it. And inhale. Let the breath return to normal. And drop the chin to the chest and roll your head around. You can find those spots in the neck where you hold tension, find the kink, and then breathe into it. And let's go right ear to the right shoulder. I'm not going to mirror you, so you're going to do the opposite, up and over. Roll the top shoulder back, look up, roll both shoulders away from the ears, reach, and come up, and switch. So this shoulder, the left one, has a tendency to come up. You're going to draw it down and away from the ear. Same with the top one as you roll it back, and reach. Inhale, come up. Reach both arms up, lift your ribs up, lift your pinkies up, not your shoulders, but your pinkies and your ribs. And exhale, surrender, lay yourself down, empty the breath, hold empty. And on your inhale, roll yourself up, hold on to the knees, bend the elbows as you inhale and lift the chin, you can lean forward, and then as you exhale, rock back, chin to the chest, moving with your own breath, as you inhale, bend the elbows, lift the chin and the chest, and as you exhale, grip your knees with your fingertips and lean back as much as you can. Few more like that. Last one. And then let's come on to all fours, your hands and your knees. Start to move into the spine, dropping the belly, lifting the chin, and exhale, press the floor away from you and round. You can continue with that cat and cow, or you can let your body move any way that it wants to move. Find the cranky parts in your body and breathe into them. And then tuck the toes and sit back on the heels so you're opening up the soles of the feet. And then you're going to take your shoulders forward and up and 
back and down. Imagine you're making a square. Forward, up, back, down. And then maybe more of a circle. Forward, up, back and down. And just a few more times. Finding the full range of motion in your shoulders. And then we're going to add the arms and cactus the elbows. And then on this one, like you're dragging your fingers down a chalkboard because you really want to irritate the people that you're quarantining with. Ah, one more. Screech. Couldn't help it. All right, downward facing dog. You can bend one knee and then the other. Maybe even rooting one heel down, bending the opposite knees and let the hips just fall over to that side as far as they'll go. Stretching the side body. And then tiptoe your feet forward and just hang out here for a few breaths. You can really bend the knees so that you can release the low, the low back. So this is much better than straight legs, rounded back. Bend your knees and let your chest get close to your thighs and let your head release. You can take opposite elbows, take your feet a bit farther and sway if you like. <sighs> And then release the hands. And bend your left knee. Straighten your right leg. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Roll the hip back, the shoulder back. And reach the arm up. And then maybe here, we'll cactus the elbow again. Sweep it forward. And then cactus the elbow. One more. Reach it forward, elbow back behind you as much as possible. Let the hand follow and bring the right hand down. Bend the right knee, straighten the left leg. Roll your hip, roll your shoulder, reach your arm. And then cactus, reach it forward, drag it back, reach it forward and drag it back and release keep your head heavy your arms heavy and roll yourself up so the head's still heavy the arms are still heavy until your spine is stacked and lift the chest roll the shoulders back float the arms up and exhale samasthiti let's take a few breaths with your feet. Filling your body with breath. And inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, step the left knee back, runner's lunge. Bend the back knee so that it almost touches the ground and then straighten it. A few more times, bend, straighten. And then the front leg, straighten and bend just as much as your range of motion is at this moment. Don't overdo it. Just feel into where your body is in this moment. And then step the back foot forward. Inhale, lengthen. 
and exhale, step your right foot back. Runner's lunge, bend the back knee, and straighten it, bend, straighten, you get it. One more. And the front leg. And step forward. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, lengthen, toe heel your feet apart and drop your hips down for Malasana. Lift your chest, squeeze your knees into your arms and press your arms back into your knees so that you can lift your chest. And then lift your butt up, bring your hands down. Lift your heels up and squeeze your arms, your upper arms, your triceps, with your knees and then just shift the body weight forward. Maybe one foot and then the other. Or maybe both feet. Eventually straightening the arms, bringing the big toes to touch and step back or float back. Up dog or cobra. Down or dog. And child's pose. Roll yourself up. And stand up on your knees. Hands at your heart. And lift the heart. Lift your pubic bone. Lift your hip bones. Lift your chest. Lift your chin. Straighten the spine, sit back on the heels, close your eyes. And then you can use blocks if you like. Step the right foot forward into pyramid pose. Spin the back heel down and fold over the front leg. You want to draw your right hip back more than you think. Keep drawing that right hip back as you press the right foot down. And then shift the weight forward. Draw your left heel to your left butt and keep your knees together. And then swim your upper body down. So bringing your chest closer to your right thigh. Just let your upper body release down as the leg works really hard, lifting the hip, drawing the sit bone under you, lifting the pelvic floor, releasing the upper body. And then back to pyramid. And 
and step the back foot forward and the forward foot back pyramid now it's the left hip that's working back and then the more you draw the left hip back the more that the foot is going to want to lift up so the more you have to press the foot down lengthening out that whole left side The right hip is drawing forward, back heel down, and shift the weight forward, right heel to your right butt, knees together, swim your upper body down. Try to keep your left hip over your left ankle. You're drawing energy up from the earth up the leg, up, 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 and then upper body down, giving it back to the earth through your hands. And then back to pyramid. Downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Charge your thighs, strong thighs, heart forward. And then the knees down, and then the chest down. Cobra. Child's pose. Downward dog. And bring your right knee to your right wrist, a very active pigeon here. You can keep the back knee a little bit forward and reach up, or you could have your hands on the blocks here. Trying to press through the outer edge of the foot Press the shin down, and from all that pressing down, that's where the reaching up comes from. Hands down, step back, and the left side. So again, hands can be on blocks, or you can reach up. But you're really pressing the outer edge of the foot really pressing the shin down. And downward facing dog. Lift your heels, bend your knees. You can step or hop forward, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, Samasthiti. Shift the weight into your left foot. And figure four, it looks like this. You can bring your hands to your heart as you bend the left knee, dropping the hips down. Make sure you're flexing this right foot. And then bringing the, your hands can be on blocks. That's a great idea. Or they come to the ground as you lower your hips. So you're flexing the right foot and pressing the right knee down as you reach your heart forward and lower your hips. If you want any fancy arm balance here, you can take it. Otherwise, just breathe. And then bring the hands back to the heart. Stand back up. Feet together. Switch sides. So flexing the foot, 
externally rotating to draw the left knee back and down as you bend your right knee. Or bring the hands down. Hands back to the heart, stand back up, and bring the feet together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step the left foot back, drop the knee down. You can have your blocks for this one as well. Straighten the right leg for Ardha Hanuman. You might slide the foot forward and then flex the toes. Heart forward. So you can release the head down, but you're lengthening the spine by reaching your heart forward. And then re-bend the front knee and take your left elbow outside of the right knee to twist. Bring your palms together. Try to make one straight line from elbow to elbow. Draw your belly in and then press the arm into the knee and the knee back into the arm. Inhale, release the hands down. Exhale one more time, straighten the leg. And then bring your right foot back and your left foot forward. Ardha Hanuman on this side, flex the toes, reach the heart forward. Rebend the knee and take your right elbow outside of the left knee and bring your palms together. Press the knee into the arm, the arm back into the knee, eventually looking up. And release the hands down. One more time, straighten the leg. And re-bend the knee, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step back to plank. And lower halfway or all the way down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And let's come onto all fours. Onto our butt. Bring the soles of the feet together and the knees apart. Baddha Konasana, and fold. Open up the toes like a book. Turn this way. So you're opening up the toes. You can press your elbows to your inner thighs as you reach your heart forward and try to roll onto the front of the sits bones. And fold. And roll yourself up. And since we're here, grab the big toes with your peace fingers, your first and second finger from the inside of the toe. And then take your knee, your arms to the outsides of your knees. Lift your chest and lean back. You can just balance here, or you can start to kick your feet into your hands. Keep lifting the chest and dropping the shoulders. And kick your big toes into your fingers. Keep lifting the heart. 
and dropping the shoulders. And now you're going to keep everything the same, just release the feet. Navasana, arms forward. You can always hold the backs of the legs. Two more breaths. Slowly release the legs down and fold forward. Internally rotating the thighs, lifting the pelvic floor, drawing the belly in, reaching the heart forward, and releasing the head. And inhale, look forward, exhale, release, and roll yourself down, setting up for bridge. If you'd like a block, you can lift your hips and rest your sacrum on the block. Lift the hips up, remove the block, and slowly lower your hips back down. And hug your right knee into the chest. You can keep the left leg here, or you can straighten it out. Let the knee fall over to the right a little bit and then hug it in towards your armpit. And then straighten the leg and interlace your hands behind your hamstring. Point the toes and then flex the foot. Point and flex and roll the ankle around. And then walk your hands up your leg, lift your head and your shoulders. Inhale your head down and exhale your leg down. Just rest a moment. And then hug your left knee in. It fall to the left and hug it in toward the armpit. Straighten the leg, interlace your hands behind your hamstring, point, flex, roll the ankle around. up your leg, lift your head and your shoulders, draw your belly in, shoulders down, inhale head down, exhale leg down. Bend your knees and drop both knees over to the right as you look over to the left. Just let yourself relax into the twist. There's a point in which you surrender to the shape instead of trying to conquer the shape. 
and then switching sides. Let yourself soften into the shape. yourself release more with every exhale. And then setting yourself up for Shavasana. Maybe placing a bolster under your knees, let the arms fall out wide, spin the palms up, you might scoop your shoulders underneath you, let the toes turn out, and give all your weight to the earth, consciously releasing every body part. Releasing control over the breath. Relaxing all the muscles in your face. This is your opportunity to practice dying. To release all the life in you, all the energy. The ultimate surrender. Giving yourself gracefully, effortlessly back into the earth. your hands onto your belly and breathe into your hands. And stretch the arms up and overhead. Stretch the feet, the toes. And bend your knees and roll to your side. Take a moment here. Releasing again. And keep your head heavy as you press into the ground and roll yourself up. And return to a seat. Hands together at your heart, offering all the benefits of your efforts, of your practice, for the greater good, for all of humanity, for those struggling. Be 
being grateful for our health. And we're going to ohm. Do it even if people are going to look at you funny in your house. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Oh. May you be happy and free. May you be peaceful and full of life. May you be healthy. May you be loved. Namaste. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye.